Hi, Robin here from Robin's Pygmies. Glad to have you here on the farm today. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about our pole barn that we keep our, we house our goats in. <laughs> Halo says hi. Um, you know, it's kind of slow on the farm during the winter months and so there's not just not a lot going on. So I, I just thought it'd be fun to talk about the barn a little bit. Um, we have a, I think it's 40 by 60 foot barn. I think Paul will correct me if I'm wrong. But basically we had a, a large roof put up with some poles that came down from the roof and that was basically it. And what we did, or what Paul did, is he did something really cool. He just basically took hog paneling and went around the barn and built um, like pins for the goats. And then after that, he put up all around that he put up cedar paneling. But the cedar paneling, when he did that, uh, especially on the front, he put it up in sections so that the sections could come off in a panel. And I'll show you that in a second here. I'll walk in there. These are the panels here. And they basically, they go from right here over to I think he's got got it to about right here so it's about a let's see how big is it no it goes to right here so anyway he's got this split in half so it's about a good what six foot section here and he lifts this whole panel up and sets it off right now we have it shut up for the winter, but he has these leaning against it to keep it from blowing out. And then he has another section, you can see kind of here, where, here where it comes, comes up here. This has got three, three panels on it on this side. I'll kind of step back a little bit so you can see. So you've got three panels there and two panels there and he can lift those and they swing out so to speak now this is the barn door here and you, this barn door goes all the way up and slides all the way across here and it's a big there's the barn door right there and it slides all the way across now let's go inside here and I'll show you. Now you can see, see the hog paneling here. Now he's got these, these things here, he's got it locked in place so that the panels don't fall off but the the actual panel he sets right up onto some hooks it sets right up onto the hog panel see here's one here and they come up and they just set right up in here and we put these down in the, those right down in there and it just locks it right into place all the way across so in the winter time they're on the top and the bottom right now we don't have all of them in there there's another one there so it goes all the way across all the way around the barn and there's another barn door that barn door there of course opens so we can get the tractor in and out so, and then we have the inside pins, of course. It's actually pretty clever. If you don't have a lot of money, 
and you, to build a barn, this is a really inexpensive way to build a barn. There's no um, constructed walls or anything in here. So you can see inside, the, top, the inside, the roof is in. Okay, we do put divider hog panels as dividers to separate the bucks and the weathers and the does. And then we have like kidding pens and individual stalls and a hay section. And then what he did for me, which I think is really super awesome, is he built me in my own room so that I can go have my own barn door. So I can have my own station inside and he put like horse mats down on the floor so I have a nice dry floor and he put sand underneath the, the floor and I have my own window in there which is really nice so I can open up my window and I have cupboards in there where I can store all my stuff. It gets still gets dusty in there so he blocked off the top to the, all the way to the ceiling. Yes, I'm talking about your barn. So really it's it's technically not a barn but and it's not totally enclosed. So we got airflow coming through here and yeah, there's no heaters in here. It and it does get dusty. That's the downside to it because of the dirt floor. But it stays warm in the winter time. We put straw down on the floor for them. And then we just rake it out and we can bring the tractor in here. We have big enough doors. The tractor can come in both sides. We have a section over here, this barn door. You can see we can open this gate. This barn door opens. I don't know if you can see that. That barn door opens with that big gate there and we can drive the tractor in that side. And then we have a big barn door here and we can drive the tractor in this side so we can go all the way in. And then we have separate pens over here and here. So like if we have to separate goats. So it's kind of like a walk around system. And I mean, it's not a fancy barn by any means, but when I started in goats, I had these little hoop huts and the goats I had calf hutches and I had hoop huts made out of hog paneling with tarps over the top. Well, if you can see that back there, it's kind of, it gets darker in the winter time. So I think you can see that back there. They each have their individual pen because bucks are naughty. They each have their individual pen back there. And so in the summer, they have nice air conditioning back there and they can go out and play and uh, run around and get lots of exercise and the girls can go out in the front pasture and they have a divided pasture in the back where the weathers can go out on one side, the bucks can go out on the other side, and everybody's happy back there. And they have multiple access back there. And the does can come out and go out on the front side. So, kind of a neat little setup, but this barn has been really a, a nice setup. I have this little pen up here and they can all see each other. I have this little pen up here, right inside the doe pen. You see this here. And we leave it open this time of year because we have no babies on the ground right now. And then the mama, when she kids, she can be right with the other goats and we can just open the door and they can run out into the big pen. And they all connect together. See, this is the, the weather pen. Say hi. So they can all visit each other, <laughs> have fun together. Ra, you're not stuck in your pen, are you? So, yeah, I think our, our barn, I think, I would say that our, I call it our barn, but it's a pole building. But I would say that it's unique. Um, it has special features and 
I mean, how many goats have a convertible building that they can call home? Um, it's just really, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I think our goats love it too. I think it's a special place that they can call home. It's nothing fancy. It's not the Taj Mahal. <laughs> you know, some might say it's a little bit messy, but it is a fabulous place here for these goats. And they have a really good home and they're well loved. And I would have to say they're pretty happy because they always wag their tails when I come into the barn. <laughs> they're pretty special little goats, aren't you? Yeah. Well, anyway, that's our barn.